Hey there, it's me, Lottie, and what I've been doing is doing some short-ish videos on clothing that is um, a little more environmentally conscious. I'm in the process of trying to revamp my own wardrobe to have it better reflect my values around sustainability and environmental consciousness and maybe an investment in smaller businesses black and brown owned businesses, women owned businesses. So today I'm gonna to talk about another company I came across. And this company, again with the socks. Okay, so apparently I've been like kind of going from the bottom up with my wardrobe. I needed new socks. I love a good pair of quality socks that feel good on your feet and keep you warm or keep you dry or keep you cool or keep you comfortable. And I had just worn out all pretty much of my socks. And I liked the cute novelty socks, but I just began to wonder if I wasn't spending money that could be better invested for a more higher quality product also. So today we're gonna look at these socks from the company Pact. And first of all, I will say that the patterns, this came in a three pack. I haven't opened them yet. Very cute patterns. I ordered more than one of these and one of them had mushrooms all over them. So, you know, extra points for having mushroom socks. But I will say, let's start off with how they pride themselves on sustainable fashion. These are made with organic cotton. It says no toxic chemicals and 81% less water used than conventional cotton. And they go on, on their website, they even go on to tell you with each, each um, item how many gallons of water versus the, I guess, more traditional process of manufacturing was saved. So for these socks, 19.5 gallons of water were saved. Wow. These are made with 78% organic cotton, 20% nylon, and 2% elastane. There's extra information about their organic cotton available on their site. And these are made as what, at what is called a GOTS certified factory based in India. GOTS certified. That stands for Global Organic Textile Standard and is a series of environmental and labor requirements that must be met throughout the manufacturing process of organic cotton. From seed to shelf, PAC's entire supply chain is inspected by a third party auditor to ensure that all suppliers are adhering to GOTS, Global Organic Textile Standards. So, like I said, I really loved the quality. They're nice, they're very nice quality. Feel great. Looking at the uh, details and benefits of these socks they have a cushioned bottom arch support and comfort toe seam i am really learning that arch support in a sock makes a difference and the cushioned bottom They also carry, uh, they carry clothes for women, men, baby, kids. They also carry bed and bath products. I have to say, I will be doing some more reviews because I've ordered a few more things from Pact. Let me tell you what Pact also got me at. <laughs> a few more things that really stood out for me from Pact was that they give you the option to select carbon offset shipping, which you just check the box and it costs a few more cents 
to have your package shipped in a way that is less stressful on the environment. They also have a connection to what's called the give back box. Now, a lot of companies have this where you can use their shipping box or you can use any shipping box and print a label off and fill that box with like gently used clothes, accessories also, or shoes. Um, and then they pay the shipping and they partner with a number of nonprofits that these clothes would then go to who resells them like in their thrift stores. So that was really easy. I actually did fill a packed give back box, took it to UPS and they sent it off just like that. I was like, wow. <laughs> Whoa, this tea is hot. Okay hot tea. Mm. Okay. So I like that. That's how I found out about the give bag box. I have since found out that you don't have to do it through packed. You can use any, if you just go to give bag box, you can find out more about that. Maybe I'll do a little video on that too. The other thing I like about packed is they have what is called, um, thoughtful packaging. So they use materials that minimize the packaging life cycles footprint. So most things come, if they don't come in a box, they come like in a nice brown envelope that's easily composted or recycled. And it's made from post-consumer recycled paperboard. So like I said, I will be talking more about packed because <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research on their site. It was really time for me to update some things in my wardrobe. So again, I will say um, me trying to curate a more conscious closet, um, a more minimalist approach and working with slower fashion does not mean throwing out all of the old stuff, although it was time. <laughs> it was time for a reboot and a regroup. But I'm trying to find the most environmentally sensitive way to go about disposing of those things, like donate, craft them into other items, although I'm conscious of not getting myself caught in that uh idealistic trick bag like oh one day I'm gonna do this and one day I'm gonna do that I mean I'm really trying to <laughs> I'm really trying to be like practical about it so that's why I really like the give back box because I can just box that up because some places during the past two years and because people have been getting more into minimalism I think um are almost inundated with donations, which isn't exactly the best thing. I don't think that's the idea, you know? Anyway, like I said, today we were talking about PACT and I'll be talking more as I learn about, you know, more environmentally conscious choices. I'm still working on what my criteria is because I didn't even know about GOTS certified or the number of gallons of water that are used when when making clothing. I hadn't even thought about those kinds of things, you know? But some 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 companies are. So learn with me. I hope you'll like this video if you think this is valuable content. I hope you'll subscribe so that you can keep getting this content. And I hope you're well. I hope you're safe and happy. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.